Hey guys, it's Lori. Just felt like getting on and doing a little quick, short, sweet little chit chat video today. So uh, I could tell you what I got going on in front of me. I have, I always have my little craft table sitting next to me. I have some toilet paper rolls sitting here. Thumbnail, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Who knows, but I'm gonna use those. I have a paper towel one sitting here too. I'll probably cut it in half or whatever, I don't know. And I have my cotton balls here with my petroleum jelly, which I always call it Vaseline. I got it. Oops, I gotta remember, it's not Vaseline because that's actually a brand. But yeah, the petroleum jelly sitting here, and I uh, have a video where I started a fire with it. If you didn't see that, I'll put that up here in the cards so you can check it out if you want to. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna make up some little fire starter things, and I have a Ziploc bag that I'm gonna put them in. So just prepping that, I guess. And I'm gonna put some cotton balls in here, a couple of cotton balls with the petroleum jelly on it, and I also have some of this paper. It's just this brown packing paper that they, I dropped my thing on the floor, my, my toilet paper roll, but they, I, you, I, blah, blah, blah. I get it for my chewy orders. It's always got a bunch of that in it. Let me pick this up before Winston runs out here and grabs it. Okay. But yeah, I'm going to put that stuff together and just, I don't know, like I said, have it ready. And I'm also going to be doing my list. I have my index cards right here in front of me and the colored one's going to have like my meal plan for the week on it and two different colored pens. I don't know which colors I'm going to use yet. I might get out a couple other colors too. <laughs> Does that sound weird? Eh, probably not really. But anyways, because this is like my planner. This is what I use, my index cards. And I also have this notebook over here, which I'm going to, I love this notebook. And I always write down like my my work schedule for the week at the top and then some little things DIY or DIY yeah there is a couple DIY projects on here which is probably why I said that but a couple little DIY projects every once in a while I'll put on there that I'd like to do but this is like a to-do list of things that I'd like to get done throughout the week and I always like to see my pink lines through it because that's what I do whenever I complete a task I put a pink line through it there's not a lot of pink lines on this one so I don't like that <laughs> But other than that, there's also like little notes that I want to, things that I want to remember for the week and stuff like that, um, that I put on there. So anyway, yeah, I'm just getting, getting prepared for my week ahead. And I kind of went around and looked in the refrigerator, both refrigerators and kind of take an inventory, get an idea of what I want for my meal plan for the week. I have enough food in my refrigerators right now for dinner for every day this week. So I'm set with that. I don't have to get anything out of the freezer. In fact, there's a couple things I might put some of it in the freezer. But anyway, yeah, I don't have a heck of a lot to say. I can tell you this, over the weekend, I did pretty well. I did plan on having a baked potato and I did have one. I had a baked potato. And the reason I'm telling you this, if you don't know, is because I've been doing low carb and I've been doing really well with it, but I did plan on having a baked potato over the weekend, which I did. And later on I had two Michelob Ultras and I did have a s'more, which I didn't plan, but I had it. And so I'm telling you, there you go, I had a s'more. And other than that, I, I'm right back on track, right back on track and good, I'm good. So that's a victory for me. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I guess since I planned it and I knew that after I eat this, I'm getting right back on track. I had my mindset on it. So yeah, I didn't go crazy. I don't feel bad about it at all. So yeah, and Wednesday's supposed to be weigh in. We'll see if I do it or not. I don't know yet. I might wait again. Last week I said I'm gonna wait until next week. Well, this week I'm saying I might wait till next week again. <laughs> so we'll see, I don't know. I don't know. Just don't know if I wanna see it just yet. I'm not sure. Okay. Anyways, we'll talk about that later in the week. And if you don't hear anything from me about it, it's because I'm avoiding the subject. All right. So I guess that's everything. Tomorrow I am going to go to Costco. So I'm going to get my Costco list around, um, get that ready to go. I might have already said that. I don't remember. I thought it. <laughs> anyway. Oh, and yesterday, I know what I wanted to tell you guys. Yesterday, um, this is actually Sunday. So yesterday was July 4th and we sat outside and there was just fireworks all around us. I put a little bit of it in my video from yesterday, but yeah. And our neighbors, they were having like a party and one of the little kids that were over there, it must've been their birthday. I heard, I heard people saying happy birthday to one of the kids, but 
at night when it got dark, all the kids kind of went out front and sat on the front porch over there next, next door. And they were watching all the fireworks that were going on. John and I did the same thing. We sat on our front porch too. But there were just so many everywhere. They were everywhere. But anyway, the kids, while the kids were out front, a couple of the adults went inside and brought out big trash bags full of glow-in-the-dark balloons. They were so cool. I thought they were the coolest thing ever. I got a little clip of them and I'll put them in right here. And they filled the backyard with these balloons. It was so awesome. And I wish that I would have gotten it on video, but I didn't. They have a pit bull over there and it's, it's an awesome dog. I mean, it's like such a great dog. And <laughs> that pit bull came out the back door and saw all those balloons and he just started attacking those balloons. And he, he wanted to play with those balloons. He thought they were for him, I'm pretty sure. It was hilarious. He started attacking all the balloons, popping them. And they ended up getting him back in the house so he so he didn't destroy all the kids balloons but anyways yeah uh it was the coolest thing though i've never seen anything like that and i thought she might have put glow sticks down in them and blew them up like that because they all had like glow necklaces and all kinds of glow stuff going on but no it wasn't she said she bought glow in the dark balloons and she was skeptical she said because she wanted to buy a bunch and she said if she wasn't so skeptical she would have bought more but it was the coolest thing. They had a yard full of glow-in-the-dark balloons. All different colors. So cool. Okay, that's going to be everything for today. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you tomorrow.